So this next spot we're checking out is Off The Res. It's a food truck that's serving up Native American cuisine. The only one in Seattle. But we'll we're talking to Mark, who is celebrating a dish called fry bread, which is a recipe that he learned from his Native American grandmother. What's up, guys? This is the spot, huh? This is it. Sick, I'm super excited to try some Indian tacos and some fry bread. Let's do it. All right. I grew up having fry bread. As far as with natives, it's kind of a staple. When reservations were given certain rations, they got you know simple ingredients and they kind of made something out of it. That's like when food is like the most like raw when it's born out of necessity. Yeah, exactly. yeah, and then you make something delicious out of it. And my grandma actually was the first one that I made fry bread with. She moved here with uh, my mom when my mom was in high school. They came from Browning, Montana. Okay. Which is where the Blackfeet Reservation is. You ready to try one out? Yeah, let's do it. We make it every day. Flour, water, milk powder, yeast, some honey, salt, and then you just drop them down. Traditionally, the fry bread would be a lot bigger. People are eating on the go here. We wanted to do smaller ones and also they can mix it up and try different kinds. Well, we might as well make a beef because that's kind of the traditional style. Got some beef chili. Topped off with some cheddar some cheese. cheese. Some lettuce, sour cream sauce, and the pickled onions on top. Ooh, look at that. The pulled pork, it's not a traditional one, but I'm a big fan of barbecue, so I had to have something like smoked on here. Right, right. It's one of my favorites. Pork shoulder, we smoke it 12 to 14 hours. Then we top it off with the barbecue sauce in the make. It's a whole whoppingness of deliciousness. I love how quick and efficient it is, man. Yeah. Enjoy. Have a good one. <laughs> well, Mark, in the early days, this was your life when the food truck first opened. Yeah, yeah. This was every day. At that time, like food trucks were relatively new up here. Uh -huh. um, and I kind of liked the idea of being able to move around different locations. We found this truck, you know, built it out and started going. Were you in the food industry too before the food truck? Um, Actually, neither one of us was in the food industry. Oh, We're just geez. kind of office bees, you know? We really just love food and we love cooking. Uh -huh. And we really wanted something that was our own. So far, it's been like such a fun ride and yeah, really just like a labor that. of love. <laughs> so this is our huckleberry jam one. And then we top it with a little powdered sugar to make it Beautiful. extra delicious. Huckleberries are pretty hard to find. Yeah. A lot of the huckleberries around here are reserved for picking by native tribes. We asked my mother-in-law, Mark's mom, Man. and then some huckleberries came to our kitchen. I love <laughs> that. It was wonderful, yeah. We do have a really popular burger, yeah. which is our powwow burger. So we put, instead of like a regular bun, we put it on our fry bread, and Let's it is it. so delicious. Oh. I'll be pan form patty. One, two, three, we also put our house-made cumin crema sauce So you got a bacon cheeseburger on fry bread. Mm. Powwow burger for you. Powwow burger. Must be super rewarding though because you get to see the, the reaction right there. Yeah, mostly it'd be like Native Americans that grew up having fry bread. Uh -huh. There's nowhere else to get it here. They're thankful that we're around to yeah. you know supply that. And that's part of why I wanted to do it. A lot of the talk in the culinary scene is like what defying what American cuisine is. Mm -hmm. A lot of it is like celebrated because of immigrants. But this is like even before that coin was flipped. This <laughs> yeah. is like indigenous yeah. food. And I love that it's coming from someone who's celebrating their own background instead of learning it on Pinterest and Google. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This has the pulled pork topped on the fry bread. Cheers, guys. Cheers. That's what's up. And you have to make a mess. Crispy on the outside, but nice, soft and doughy. Perfect amount of sweetness. Yeah. Great job, guys. Oh, thank you. So this is the most classic. First one we came up with, we were like, this is the one we got to do, yeah. for sure. I would so crush like 20 of those. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. And then you guys also even make dessert ones, too. Yeah. That's so good. Oh my God. Perfect balance of tartness. <laughs> and it like soaks up in the bread, so you get the crispy on the outside. And then soft and gooey. It's like the perfect jelly donut. You guys are crushing it. Oh, thank you. 
Thank you. So good. Don't forget about the burger. Texture is so key to making like a perfect recipe and the fry bread has all of that in it already mm. by itself. Yeah, it varies from, you know, region to region. So we're doing like Montana style, all right. Blackfeet style. You guys are the only ones that's doing it out here. Yeah, he was like, I really am craving fry bread. And we kept talking about, you know, what kind of business do we, or what kind of restaurant do we want to open up? And uh -huh. he was like, obviously fry bread, like yeah. nobody has this. And we just really were excited about like bringing it to people. One of the first places that I tried fry bread was at a powwow after I met him. But now That's we're smarter. the fry bread at the powwow uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sometimes. When you guys first opened up, what did people think about fry bread? I don't know, I, I, I didn't know about fry bread. Yeah, for sure. I mean, some people just really didn't know about it at all. And they thought that we invented a fusion concept of Indian tacos. They yeah. see oh. Indian taco and they think that's like curry based. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Is there a Native American community here? That yeah. You guys... The city was named after Chief South. And lots of tribes, if, in, like as soon as you kind of come out of the city, there's like Tulalip tribe, Suquamish tribe, and lots of other tribes that are all local to here, um, coastal tribes. They have their own fried bread style too. Smoked salmon that's just like so oh, delicious. Yeah. Well, yeah. Really good seafood. Really good. So why don't we see this next to a Korean food or, or even right now, even like Filipino food, right? Why isn't right. there like Native American? I think that, um, you know, for the Native community, the barriers to entry for business is a little bit tough, you know? It costs a lot of money to start something, and I mean, we poured our blood, sweat, and tears yeah. <laughs> um, into to building this business. I think a lot of it is Natives were here first. They were making their, their food before there was a health department in mm -hmm. Seattle. I think that's why a lot of them are on the reservation because they can do what they want there on the land that, you know, that was theirs. It's a struggle. You know, we go through that in, in Hawaii too. Yeah, it's the same kind of thing. I wanted to do something that you know would give other natives pride and, and jump through the hoops and make it happen. Just wanting to share your culture, man. Yeah. There was nothing going to stop you guys, especially coming from Native Americans. They should be the first ones to be celebrated. Now we go in with the goat. Oh, you know it's gonna be flavorful already. Oh my gosh. And the goat gets in there. Yes. <laughs>